Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Live from the CBS2 Information Network, this is Breaking News. Cars, an invention that has been around for many decades and has revolutionized the transportation industry. Millions of ordinary citizens like you and me have been using this form of technology. And yet, very few understand the journey this invention has gone through to which it stands here today. So just exactly when did the first car roll out? To find this answer, we'll be going back to 1769. It was during this year where Nicholas Joseph came out with the first self-propelled car. Although it seems like a pot of water attached to a tricycle, it also received the recognition as the world's first car accident. It wasn't until 1880s where inventor Carl Benz came out with the first gasoline-powered car. Years passed by until the 1890s where the car was remodeled to obtain four wheels and also included seatbelts to ensure the safety of the driver and the passengers. It was during this time period where more features were added from light to stronger and better gripped wheels. As better designs came out, more features were brought along with it, from windows to radios. Unfortunately, it was the upper class families who owned these cars, until years later, the target audience expanded to include middle class families. It was after the 1920s where the auto industry adapted to the cars running on gasoline. Decades later, GM followed up with the theme of being environmentally friendly. They addressed the rising concerns of global warming after coming out with the electric car. GM had now created the EV1. I need to drive it, I unplug, drive it away. Believe it or not, that sucker goes. That really? thing will take you so fast you can get a ticket. They were quiet and fast, produced no exhaust, and ran without gasoline. Today's cars are now based on the theme of being fuel efficient, where it's not only good for the environment, but more affordable for the low culture families. This includes the additional features of GPS systems and automated parking programs to expand the production to even those who are less sophisticated and have disposable income. In other words, the cars that we have today are being designed for the older youth culture. Now that you learned some really interesting facts, we're now left with the question, where do we go from here? Well, that question was actually solved back in 2007 with the creation of the autonomous robot car. In other words, these are cars that will drive you. The autonomous robot car is so advanced it will leave you saying, H How come I don't know about this? Have you seen this on YouTube? Like, that you start to forget that it is a machine that is making its own decision. To see a car with nobody operating it, it's bizarre. You look in the vehicle and there you go, an empty seat. Here comes, it looks like little Ben approaching. See, now, now what do we do? Okay, folks, we have got our first autonomous traffic jam.